American man will spend the rest of his life behind bars for torturing and abusing three young sisters who he had been trusted to care for. On Monday, Andrew Franklin Kalchak, 44, was sentenced to 270 years in federal prison, followed by a life term of supervised release, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Oregon said in a press release. The heartbreaking case unfolded in 2008 after police discovered Andrew had made a number of homemade videos which show him sexually abusing the young girls, an eight-year-old girl and two-year-old twins. Police first learned of Andrew's crimes after he was stopped by Des Moines, Washington Police for several traffic violations on December 27, 2007. Andrew refused to get out of the car, which sparked a high-speed chase, the attorney's office said. Andrew was arrested at Northwest Motor Inn in Washington the next day. Officers then seized Andrew's personal belongings, which included several pieces of luggage and a backpack. In January 2008, police obtained a state warrant to search computer equipment, a digital camera, and digital storage devices. That's when police made an alarming discovery. The search returned a tremendous amount of child pornography, including a number of images and videos that appeared to be homemade, the attorney's office said. The videos and image showed an unidentified male sexually abusing two very young children. Metadata embedded in digital images revealed that they were created using the same camera found in Andrew's luggage. Authorities later published certain non-pornographic images of the victims in hopes of identifying them. An adult woman came forward and confirmed the victims in the footage were her children and that Andrew was a family friend. The victim's mother told police that she met Andrew in 2003 and he was a friend of her brother who died. She explained that Andrew had helped her with the kids after they ended up in a domestic violence shelter in 2005. The woman said Andrew offered to pay for them to stay in a motel. Between April and June of 2005, Andrew arranged for the victims and mother and her children to stay with him or adjacent to him in three different Portland motels. After the woman got on her feet, she and Andrew later rented separate apartments. During this time, the woman said she would often leave her three young girls with Andrew while she worked. The victim's mother believed Andrew treated the victims well, buying them clothing, diapers, shoes, and even a birthday cake for their second birthday. Investigators also recovered photos Andrew took of himself, which shows him abusing two of the minor victims at the Portland motel rooms he rented for the family. He took sexually explicit photos of the third minor victim at his apartment in southeast Portland. On February 2, 2008, a federal grand jury charged Andrew, but it was another 10 years before he faced trial. However, despite the delay, after a four-day trial and just 20 minutes for the jury to deliberate, Andrew was convicted on nine counts of producing child pornography. His sentence and hearing on Monday, his eldest victim, who is now 23 years old, told District uh, Judge Michael W. Mossman that she still feels if there are weights holding her body down. She said it turns out that Andrew was actually a monster. She says that she knows now that he bought them things and did nice things uh, for her and her sisters so that he could rape and molest them. The victim's attorney, Aaron Olson, explained that the two younger sisters have no memory of the abuse, but they believe it. Since it's incomprehensible, they cannot imagine it, but they believe it, Olson told the judge. Andrew is evil itself, the 23-year-old victim, told the judge. He deserves to rot in prison for the devilish things he's done to me and my baby sisters. Andrew was sentenced to 270 years in prison. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, leave me your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section. And I agree with the eldest victim. He is evil, he's devilish, and he deserves to rot in hell.